Hey, how's it going everybody? It's me, Scudder. Thank you very much for joining us. As you can see, we're back. We're doing another group prediction, this time halfway through Group D. Uh, France, Australia, Denmark, and Tunisia. You have to have France down, obviously, as favourites. Probably a toss-up between Denmark and Tunisia after that. I would guess Tun uh, Denmark have the slight advantage, but... You never know. Uh, we are going to predict this, though, using the power of the cards. We've got eight of the Adrenaline XL World Cup packs. We're going to use those for each player we pull from one of these nations. We will put down in front of us the one with the, uh, the most finishes top, the one with the second most obviously finishes second, and that's all that matters. After that, you get knocked out and you go home. Uh, if, we, if we have a tie, then we will use the rareness of the cards to determine uh, so you can see here there are different different types of cards um, if we uh, if we don't have any players then I guess we'll, we'll do uh, we'll do something a bit random to, to to predict it let's get started we'll open these up there are obviously digital codes in here and I'm gonna butcher pretty much every name I apologize for that there is the digital code so feel free to use that and then let's start looking through we're looking for french australian denmark and tunisian players i'm always worried that i'm going to miss some there is gravenbach uh, and uh, leroy sane we don't need either of those we have the moroccan crest kyle walker uh, we have saudi arabia who got through last time out uh, we have poland who were knocked out iran who also were knocked out and then Mexico, no one in that pack that uh, that leads us to an early front runner. Okay, Lionel Messi last time out came and saved Argentina from an early knockout of the tournament. We have uh, Ricarlison, the game changer for Brazil. We have Ecuadorian uh, Valencia, Japan team crest. We have the Ghana uh, Amati. We have uh, Arejo for Uruguay. Darwin Nunes for Uruguay, Polish Moda, Moda and uh, Costa Rican Durate. Okay, let's uh, get those over there. That was pack number two. It's looking very dull in Group D at this moment in time. Let's see if we can change that. Okay, we have another code. There you go. Then we have uh, Mexican Garado. We have Neymar Jr. We have the Poland <laughs> Team Crest. We have Unana for Cameroon. We have uh, Ahmed for Qatar. We have Netherlands, Biljo, Joe Allen for Wales, and Ghanaian, uh, Wallacott. Well, we're, this is the fourth pack. We haven't seen a single card just yet. It's going to be tight. It's going to go down to the wire, I think. There is the digital code. We have... Uh, Toko El Cambi for Cameroon. Costa Rica contenders badge. We have uh, Mexico. I guess this makes it a little bit harsh with the contenders in there because obviously this came out before we knew who was going to the World Cup. We have France uh, Pavard. We have that was a, that was a player we needed. There we go. Sorry, <laughs> I was all over the place. I'm going to have to check these cards. Just make sure. We've got uh, Milinkovic for Serbia. We have uh, Rodri. For Spain, we've got Scottish, McTominay, and Argentinian Martinez. Let's just quickly run through these in case I missed any. We've got, obviously, from the Netherlands, Argentina, Scotland, Spain, Mexico. None of those. Costa Rica, none of those. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was the only one. I'm not sure what happened, why I, <laughs> why I almost skipped past them. Poland, no. Uh, Uruguay, no. Ghana, no. Ecuador, Brazil, Mexico, Iran, Poland. There we go. I think we're good, right? I think it's just the uh, just the Pavard who we almost skipped straight past, which would have been comical. Uh, okay, next pack. <laughs> Let's keep going. We've got another digital code here for you. There you go. And we have for Denmark Christiansen. There we go. And actually, we said that the rarer the card. Uh, this is a base card. This is a fans, uh, sorry, a Titan card. They're the ones that are going through. So Shakiri here for uh, Switzerland. Then we have Saudi Arabian Al Maki. Al Malki. We'll have we have Estrada for uh, to uh, for Ecuador, and then we have contender Rogic for Australia. 
We have Marquinhos for Brazil, uh, UAE uh, Mabgut, Mab and uh, Witzel for Belgium. Well, 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 we're going into this, and it's very, very tight. Um, let's have a little look on the next pack. We have another digital code that is yours to use. Uh, let's just flip these round, I guess. Looks like we've got something shiny at the back of these ones. We have Iranian, um, that fella. We have Sadio Mane for Senegal, Alfonso Davis for Canada, uh, UAE, um, Al Kassif, Switzerland and Bolo. We have uh, Scotland Contenders card. We have Poland Lewandowski and top master Neymar Jr. is a nice card to have. It doesn't help us in our current group. We're down to the last two packs at the moment. Denmark are going through and we're going to have to figure out how we split Australia and France unless someone comes up clutch here. We've got uh, Guerrero for Portugal. We have Senegalese Dia. We have a digital code that you can absolutely use, be my guest. Lots more content coming up on the channel. Let's just spin these round and have a look at what we've got at the back here. We've got Game Changer Saka, Pacayo Saka there. Another England player in Mason Mount. Sergio Busquets. We have Lorente, also for Spain. Moroccan uh, Hakimi. And then another England player in Jordan Henderson. Uh, you're a few few packs late, England England players. Right, um, let's have a look. Last pack here. We're gonna have to come up with a we're gonna have to come up with a decider. Okay, there is a digital code. Let's have a look. Unless someone comes up big for one of these teams, this is what we've got. We've got the Mexico crest. We have Ghanaian Baba. We have another Ghanaian in Fatawu. Uh, Moroccan in Messina we have Aaron Ramsey contender we have at the back here something shiny Moroccan Hakimi then we have France the second from last card gives France the edge going into this last card I don't know who it is we're going to turn this over if it's Denmark or Australia or it could be Tunisia it is Morocco and there we go going out of this group is Denmark and France's group winners I don't think we missed anyone let's just have a quick fly through in case there is someone somewhere that we missed I think we're pretty good though um, there we go no no Tunisians that I can see there's the Polish badge Mexico Poland and I haven't seen any Danes haven't seen any more Frenchmen I think this is it. I think no Tunisians whatsoever. They just didn't show up today. Well, there you go. And that is that. France and Denmark are through. Look, I'd love to know your thoughts on who's coming out of this group top, who's finishing second and who's going home early. I'd also love to hear your thoughts about the World Cup. Um, if you have been to a World Cup, if you're going to the World Cup, if you have any stories about where you were watching the World Cup and memories from previous World Cups, love to hear that or hear all that stuff. If you're collecting the the stickers or the cards, also let me know, and I'll see you all soon for the next four groups. We're halfway through. Let's see who gets into the next stages. Lots more World Cup content coming up. I'll see you again soon. Thank you.